y'all. Come on out here, man. We're about to get this thing started. Y'all know how we do it out here, right? All right, Mike. Surf fishing friends, we are at a totally different place. This is not the surf. This is actually Davis Canal, and we're down here on a dock, and we're going to talk about what to do with those fish heads you catch. Uh, you catch the fish, you cut off the head, and then you throw it in the garbage, right? Nah, you don't. What you do is you go crabbing. So here we got our uh, crab traps. I'll show you three of them. First is, uh, this is just like a little drop rig we got here. So the idea is you can put a chicken neck on there, but I wouldn't do that because fish heads work so much better. You catch a fish, you put the head on there, you drop that down in the water, and you feel a little crab on there, and you, you pull them up. It's kind of fun. The kids, then they can pull up the crab, and it also helps if you have a net. So when you get up to the top, you can just get them in the net, throw them in a bucket. Second crab trap we got is this one. This works pretty good. You can put some bait in there. And uh, I'll take this one down to the point with me sometimes. We get down to the point, and the idea is I'll just put the bait in there. I can cast it out kind of into the, not the surf, but down a, around the intercoastal side. And the crabs will go in there, and then when you pull it up, the crabs are stuck. And then you got to get them out and put them in a bucket. But for our purposes today, we're on the canal here. So we've got this crab trap right here. Now, there's a lot of crab traps out there, and I'll tell you why I like this one in particular. It's a little more expensive than the others, but the first kind you can get is made out of this material, and it's about half the size, and um, it's just the, the square, and you put the bait in there, and you shut the top, throw it in the water, and the crabs go in the hole, which uh, I'll come around here and show you. So there's the hole, and they get in there, and they can't figure out how to get out. Um, but this one's a little different because this one has a double layer on it. So if you can see, there's a layer here. So the crabs go in that hole, but then they try to get out, they climb up. So they actually get stuck in the second layer in here, which is really nice because I've done a test with, I have one of the ones that's only the single layer and I've done two, casted them out, same bait, same everything, and caught twice as many crabs in this one as I have the other one. So, the last thing I like about it is um, it's got the barb around the bottom, it's like a rebarb, and that's heavy and that's like a weight. And this way you know that part's gonna sit on the bottom, the bait's gonna be in there, and the crabs are gonna crawl up to the top. So we're just gonna take this guy right here, give him a little toss, and see what he can do this with one hand. Oh, look at that, I threw it horrible, but you know what, I still think it fell the right way. And then, I got this little buoy there, and I'll send that out so it's right over where it is. This way if a boat comes by, they will see the little buoy. Now they're probably not gonna come that close to the dock anyway, but at least they know it's there and they can come down. So here we are crabbing Davis Canal with our fish heads and we'll see uh, if we get some. Out there and we're just gonna give it a little pull here to see what's inside. So here we go. Roar! Coming up. Yeah, I'm trying to do this with one hand. It's kind of comical. There it is. See if we got any. Looks like a few. All right, that's not too bad. Dog's interested. There they are. Hello, Mr. Krabs. So, yeah, we're gonna. It's kind of small, kind of big. Maybe. Tiny baby, and there's the fish heads. They stink. Throw that back in. Oh uh, yeah, we'll let the little ones go. Keep the big ones, and uh, there's another one on the side there, and that's how it works. Crabbing. All right, too small. Let them go. Bye. Hit the road. Skedaddle. Go ahead. Take a walk. Bye. There you go. This guy is holding on right here. He's actually holding on to the part where it opens, so I can't even open it to get him out. He's a strong little guy. I want to let you out. He's like, no, I'm staying in the cage. All right, forever. here's the next part. Uh, a little crab oil in there. That's why it's orange. Throw the lid on. Let it boil. Boil, boil. Okay, come back. All right, so we brought the water to a boil, and what we're doing now is just uh, putting our crabs into the pot there. Put the top back on. Bring that back up to a boil. I'm gonna let it sit there about 15 minutes, and then they're gonna be red and ready to go. So in the meantime, 
I'm gonna get some butter ready, you know? Yeah. And it's gonna be good. Later, they're boiled and they're ready to eat. I'm gonna let them sit in there a little bit and then I'm gonna serve them.